Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, congratulations to all the nominees. Thank you for being here. Mr. Zollers, let me just start with you since you're from my neck of the woods, uh, so to right. speak. Exactly. Although I think I think you're a Kansas resident, isn't that right? Yeah. Kansas side of Kansas. Yeah, I'm on okay. the wrong side of the line. For well, you. yeah, I, we'll I, try not to. I'll try to overlook that. But I've been on the other side of the line. Well, good. Well, I hope. <laughs> I mean, I hope. I've okay. lived. Uh, I've lived on the Missouri side. Oh, good. So. Well, good. I'm warming right up to you. This is getting better and better. Let me just ask you. Speaking about the significance, just picking up where Senator Butler left off, actually, about the significance of of delivery for rural communities which characterizes so much of my state, so much of Kansas, and where I grew up. I grew up in a town of 4,000 people. Uh, yesterday, the Missouri Farm Bureau, which is my state's largest general farm organization, wrote to the Postmaster General regarding the latest plans that the Postal Service has that they're calling the Regional Transportation Optimization Plan. And as the Farm Bureau, Missouri Farm Bureau points out, what this plan amounts to is to eliminate end-of-day collection at post offices that are more than 50 miles from one of the nation's 60 regional processing and distribution centers, and to take other actions that would reduce the mail flow to rural America. Let's just, I think we have a poster. Let's just look here. So that means everywhere in blue, everywhere in blue would lose mail pickup and some delivery and experienced reduced mail volume uh, to, to residents. Uh, that's a lot of the country. That's most of my state. That's most of your state, Mr. Zollers. Uh, the, the Farm Bureau has very significant concerns about this, and frankly, so do I. I. I've asked the Postmaster General about this myself and raised concerns just a month ago, but I want to point out something in the Farm Bureau letter that's particularly interesting. According to the USPS's own analysis, nearly 70 percent of first-class mail volume in rural areas would, would experience significant downgrades under this plan. 70 percent. That's a big number. So. First, Mr. Chairman, with, uh, with your permission, without objection, I'd like to enter this letter into the record. Without objection. Thank you. Um, Mr. Zellers, can I just ask you, are you familiar with this regional transportation optimization plan? Uh, I've been out of the service of the Board of Governors for a year, so I don't know what's happening today. I wasn't aware of the specifics of, of that letter or what's going on with the, with the current rural approach uh, to mail delivery, but I'm generally aware of the plan, yes. Do you support its implementation? I support the implementation of the DFA when I was there. As I said, I don't know what adjustments have been made in the last year. Well, I'm sorry, the DFA. De Delivering for America plan, which is the 10-year plan. And, and of which this is a subset. This is a subset of that, correct. So would you support this, what I have on the on this board by? I don't really have enough detail to let you know one way or the other. Well, let me ask you this. Um, would you commit to, if you are reappointed, would you commit to using your, your position here, your very significant position of influence and oversight, to reconsider this proposal and make sure that rural Americans in my state, your state, every state, are getting full and regular delivery of the mail? As a member of the flyover country community, absolutely. Let me just ask the other nominees this. Mr. Hart of Genesis, are you familiar with this plan, the regional optimization plan? Um, not, not in detail enough to, you know, as, as this map is. Do you, do you support its implementation? Well, I, I, from what I understand of the plan, there, there are good reasons for the, the, the plan in, in terms of the long-term modernization of the Postal Service I, I do think it's important to take into account these types of concerns. There, I mean, there are 350 million constituents for the, the post office, and if rural communities are really being impacted negatively, I think the, the, you know, the USPS needs to learn from that and account for that as part of its mission and make sure that we, you know, service is not sacrificed. So uh, that sounds like a little bit of a yes and a little bit of a no. O on the, just on the regional opti transportation optimization plan itself, mm -hmm. Do you support its implementation based on what you know? Based on what I know, um, I, I support the plan in terms of modernization of the of the USPS. Uh, like I, I'm not in the know enough to under, understand the, the exact impacts on rural communities, but I, I think that as a member of the board of, of governors, if confirmed, I think that we would need to look at that. Um, okay. It, it sounds like what I'm going to need to do is um, I'm going to need to follow up in writing um, with both of you. Maybe I'll give you an opportunity to look at the details and uh, okay. because I'm really concerned about this. I'm really concerned about this. 
And let's be honest with you, if we can't get some fidelity on this, and if I can't get your commitment that we're gonna make sure that people in blue here don't lose 70% of their mail volume or have 70% of that volume downgraded, I I'm gonna have a really hard time advancing your nominations. Congresswoman, can I just ask you, are, are you familiar with this plan? Do you support it? Senator Hawley, I'm I am not familiar uh, with that plan, but if confirmed, I certainly want to gather all of the information and all of the data that would justify implementation of this plan, because it appears to me, just based on what you have shared with us, that is in, is in conflict with the universal service obligation. Indeed. And I do see Florida on your map as well, yeah. right? Some parts, some significant areas uh, in Florida, which the overwhelming majority of the state really is rural. Um, and so I will definitely do my research to make sure that what we are supporting continues to meet the mission of the post office. And I think you've heard my concern for rural areas in our country. Good. I appreciate that. I'll, I will follow up with, with all three of you. I'll let you all look at this plan and, and do some homework on it, and then we'll follow up in writing uh, for the record.